Oh, another loyal customer just appeared. People call me the mystery salesman. Always a pleasure. Hello. So long, partner. Now that everyone is here, let the official Silver Core Deputy Promotion Ceremony begin. Now, I don't need to remind y'all, we've had plenty of ups and downs, highs and lows, as well as no shortage of stormy weather out here in Sand Rock. And without all of you giving it your all, Sand Rock wouldn't be the safe and secure place it is here today. Nevertheless, there's still one who stands out among the rest. One whose tireless dedication to law and order has earned them the right to call themselves Deputy of the Sand Rock Civil Corps. Wow, I don't know why, but I'm really nervous all of a sudden. You don't think he's going to pick one of us, do you? I mean, I know we're just builders, but... Now, <laughs> I don't mean to tantalize you all. I'm sure you're on the tip of your toes wondering who I've chosen to be my deputy. So without further ado, our next deputy is known is not for group about strength, me? but nimbleness and wisdom. Our deputy brings a oh uniqueness to the team. I think he is. It fills in the gaps in our core skill set with raw, individual talent. With flowing oh, black hair justice. that shimmers in really? the sunlight as much. they dish out hearty, Heaping helpings of justice with elegance and finesse. Let's give it up for our next deputy, Captain Cat. What the? The cat? Yes, I thought I caught the most Captain, mice. Or should I say, Deputy Captain has not only been diligent in patrol work, but this year's mice incidents have fallen to an all-time low. Yes, there really is no question that Captain is the most deserving of this title. One more time, a round of applause for our new deputy. I'm so embarrassed, but congrats. Congratulations. 
Congratulations, Captain. And now, to complete the ceremony, I will place the official deputy cap upon the head of our new deputy. Get on up here, Captain. Everyone, keep giving it your all out there. Dismiss.
How's it going? See ya! Hello. Farewell. Thank you. 
Catch you later.
later. Thank you. 
<laughs> it's perfect! Look at the majesty! I can't bear to draw my eyes away! I look so friendly and welcoming! You're all set! Amazing! My design, your handiwork, and Pablo's finishing touches! It's absolutely perfect! People are going to start calling my shop by the stairs. You know, with all the attention I'll be getting. Like, everybody will be looking. Or staring? Ah, by the way, how much was Pablo's fee? What? Ah, you think you're pretty slick, huh? I'll find out one way or another, and you'll be paid back in full. Mark my words. The shop owner and the workshop owner. What are you two doing here? Not thinking of traveling somewhere, are you? With so much work to be done? Pastor, hello! We were just admiring this fine billboard that our friend here made. An advertisement? Let me see. Yeah. 
Yes, very nice. But you are aware that there is an application process for new constructions, are you not? No one is above the law, Arvio. In case you forgot, any construction on public property must first go through the Commerce Guild with an application fee. Following which, the request will be sent to City Hall, where Haiti and myself... Right, right. Application. And the fee. About that. You would do well not to interrupt me, boy. As I was saying, Heidi works with me, keeping track of zoning for new constructions. But, as it turns out, to my knowledge, there is no zoning conflict here. Woo! <laughs> you know, Hulcha, the way you were talking, you made it sound like... However... Huh? There is still the matter of the application fee that you so absent-mindedly circumvented. Five hundred goals. Otherwise, I'm afraid the city will have to take down this... very modest creation of yours. Yes, yes, of course. I would never dream of trying to wriggle out of paying for such a valid... and clearly very necessary service. Let me just speak with my partner privately for a moment. Uh, as you may recall, I'm still a bit short. Also, I don't have 500 goals on me. But don't worry, I have a plan. Let's convince Miguel to keep the sign up and just give me a few days to come up with the money. Nice! Alright, just follow my lead. Hmm, what's there to discuss? This isn't exactly what I'd call a complicated issue. Pasta! The thing is, for a little shop like mine, 500 goals is quite a hit. I don't even make that from a full day's work. Can we leave the sign up and I can pay the fee after a couple of days? I mean, it's not like I'm going anywhere. You can see my shop from your church, can't you? And I mean, who knows? Maybe some tourists will see the sign and decide to hop off the train. This sign could pay for itself in a matter of days! Perhaps there is some merit to your words. We do benefit by having visitors of the non-bandit variety. Fine. I suppose these laws were originally written with the intention to improve commerce in Sandrock, not hinder it. You have three days. I will inform City Hall. Wonderful! Thank you, Pasta. You're so forgiving, just like your religion tells you to be. I do so admire those who practice what they preach. Hmm. Yes. Quite. Ha! <laughs> that went well, I'd say. Thank you for your support. Within a few days, I'll have that silly fee paid for. Oh, and I'll pay you back as well. Whew! Finally, I love it when a plan comes together. Some of what I said is true, by the way. I do think this billboard will pay for itself in no time flat. Alright, I'm going to speak with Jensen about when there's the most traffic so I can repair for the crowds. Thanks again!
Thank you.